Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you have time, subscribe. What are we going to talk about today? Weather. Yeah, the weather been rough here. As you can see behind me, my blinds are down. I do have a plan to fix them, which I'll show you when I'm, once I do it. Uh, hopefully we'll prevent this from happening again, or at least limit it. Uh, the, they've been down two or three times since my last video. <laughs> so, the winds have been pretty rough. Plus the rain. God, it's been raining, and I've not been able to enjoy myself out here on my terrace. And another thing, as most of you are aware, I have two different internets. Well, guess what? Both of them were down. <laughs> so I've been off, <laughs> offline. Uh, so it's been rough. Now my chickens are seem to be handling this pretty well. Uh, our egg production is up a little bit. We got some new layers. Uh, I've got eggs in the incubator, uh, adding to it, uh, probably for at least another day, maybe two days. Uh, it depends how many I get today. Uh, I actually got 11 eggs in one day. That's the most I've ever, ever gotten in one day. So, and uh, I even got one new layer in quarantine, which we didn't put in the incubator because there's no rooster. <laughs> uh, we just added it to our stock of eggs that we use daily. Excuse me. Wind blowing and makes my eyes itch. Um, and my new baby chicks uh, ended up with 14. Uh, which is okay. It's not as many as I expected. Uh, but they're, they're doing fine. And I had to actually, uh, where the temperature's been down, cover the uh, opening uh, with a rug so that to uh, hold the heat in. Because uh, uh, <laughs> the little guys were getting cold. <laughs> and... Another thing, add to the story, um, Grace and I uh, pitched in on a TV for Rojo's Classic, a 43-inch TV, smart TV. Um, so we, uh, we basically paid half of it, a little more, and we went and picked it up yesterday. Well, there was no class yesterday. So this morning, uh, we'd be taking Virgil to school personally for a couple of reasons. One, because of the rain, and also to deliver the TV. So his class will have a TV. The teacher personally bought a TV stand, a nice one. Because uh, she doesn't want to put it up on the wall above the chalkboard. Because she doesn't want her students tilting their heads upward uh, for extended periods of time. So that was quite nice. You know, that's another thing here in the Philippines. The teachers use their own money in a lot of cases to uh, get things necessary for them to perform their job. Also, they help students with things. And that just amazes me because they don't get much pay to begin with. Most of them make uh, around six hundred to eight hundred dollars a month for a teacher. Now, some that's been there for a while make a little more than that, but that's about it. I don't know what this one makes. She's been there a while, but it's not extreme. Plus, she she travels a long way to school too. Uh, she got about a thirty minute drive from where she lives to school. So, I admire these teachers, their dedication. And Virgil's been doing quite well in school. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. 
And the teacher has relayed that to, to Grace. They stay in uh, pretty reasonable contact. And uh, she keeps Grace informed of what Virgil's doing in school. So I, I enjoy that too. I'm glad, glad he's doing good. And let's see what else we're going on. Oh, our creek has not been excessive. It's up. Uh, oh, another thing to compel the problem with the internet is the brownouts. Whew. Unreal. One after another. Fortunately, we've been blessed with the uh, solar, even though it's been heavily overcast. We've been able to maintain electricity. Now, there's been a few nights that I've uh, disconnected the uh, refrigerator and deep freeze in order to have enough batteries to last us all night. Uh, that's, uh, and it's worked out good so far. And then when the grid come back on the following day, uh, naturally, I, I had enough uh, batteries left early in the morning to turn everything on and also to keep our water tank full of water. Okay. Part of these winds are blowing. If that tank was to get empty, we'd have a catastrophe. So, I've had to stay on top of everything in order to maintain things, keep more damages. But, uh, we've been very fortunate, you know. Is, uh, and I'm, I'm happy that we're, things have worked out as well as it has. Now, I've been shopping online uh, for additional batteries. And I've actually watched a YouTube video of this battery. And uh, also, I've seen its sister being used in the U.S. And both of them, both reviews, were good. These were independent reviews. They weren't sponsored. Batteries weren't sent there just for the review. These people actually bought the batteries personally uh, because of the price and wanted to test them. And I'm impressed, especially after a disassembly of the build quality. And the good thing about these batteries is that they can be connected in series or parallel, up to four batteries. Which is nice. So I can get a two 250 amp hour batteries or a 12 volt to get my 24 volts. And uh, that would give me an additional when fully charged 7 kilowatts in addition to what I have now. Now the batteries I got now I've got roughly 5 kilowatts which would give me 12 kilowatts. On a good day, that means I can do 24-7. Now, this is not going to happen until probably about November. Maybe December. I don't know. It depends uh, how things go. Then hopefully next year, sometime, I can get uh, another 12 to 1500 watts of solar panels. That should put me... Uh, on reasonable days to good days, 24-7. That should drop my electric bill considerably. I don't know if I've mentioned it. I think I have in the past, but my electric bill is, even though we're not using no more kilowatts, it has jumped uh, over $100. Actually, it's hitting about 125 And uh, I monitor how many kilowatts we use. So I've got to do something to offset that. Uh, what I have now in place is basically paid for itself. Uh, I'm, I'm at the break-even point of my solar right now. I'm still using my damaged inverter. <laughs> I don't know when there'll be a replacement on it. I'm not, I'm not uh, made any plans for that at this time. Uh, So we just have to go from there. Yeah. Anyway, that's a little update of what's happening here at the homestead. 
we are, we're all hanging in there with this weather. On, this weather is going to hang in here. To, we're not going to get a break to about Thursday or Friday. And then, like as you heard me say, a break. According to what I've seen, the weather patterns, we're going to get hammered again probably next week. But we'll manage. We'll, t we'll, we'll, we'll survive it. And you, I deeply appreciate each and every one of y'all for watching and taking time out of my videos. Especially listening to this old man that's ramble along. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And until next time, until I can upload again, hopefully. Everybody take care. And I'll see you soon.